What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the IGCPR Wood Shop. Ivan here. Today, we're going to go ahead and get started using this bad boy here the Milwaukee M18 Fuel Compact Router Lunch Base. Uh, if you saw my previous video. If not, go ahead and check it out up here. This thing put together looks like an animal. <laughs> Can't wait to get started with it. Alright, so here we are. Today we'll be using the uh, Milescraft Sign Pro. Uh, I said last time I was going to do a video and now I'm working on it, but just uh, in a nutshell, it has these two holders here which hold these two metal bars and you do have the option of extending them with the bracket so you can have twice the length here. And it comes with all these little templates and you can buy more if you'd like uh, of different characters and letters and whatnot numbers. Uh, and they essentially slide in there and then you lock them in place. And then if you need spacers so they're nice and tight, just go ahead and put random, you put random uh, templates in there and it just holds it all nice and tight. And then using the guide, the guide bushing or whatever you want to use, this it also comes with the base plate with <coughs> Goes with the six inch base plate with these little turn lock guide bushings that are actually pretty sweet. Just lock it in there. Um, again, after a little after a little MacGyver after a little MacGyvering, I was able to go ahead and screw this in there. I was only able to so you pick one screw, hole, a uh, slot, and then you align it and see however many you can align it with. Uh, ideally you want the four screw holes on the router but unfortunately I was only able to do two and according to the manual <coughs> all you need is two across from each other and you'll be good to go. And as you can see here, I have this work piece here working on the plaque. Uh, this here is what the finished product looks like. So it's, a mag it's magnetized. So a bottle cap here, bottle opener. Open your bottle and the cap just falls in there and catches with the magnets that are in the back. <coughs> so, just looking for this. Uh, started off making those for friends and family for Christmas, and uh, my buddy saw it and said, Hey, can you make one for <coughs> my brother? And then it just went from there. I posted it on Instagram, so now I have a couple orders coming in. So, this one here is for a friend of a co worker's. <coughs> Uh, that found me on Instagram. Certified freak. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't know what the uh, meaning behind this is, or if it's an inside joke or something. But hey, the guy's paying me, so he gets whatever he wants. So just like this, your guy pushing drops in there, and you just kind of route around the letter. Makes it a lot way easier than just freehand routing it. So, I'll stop, uh, I won't, I'll try my best not to uh, talk any trash on this router. <laughs> I still am liking the right we want a little more. Um, just overall, of course, um, it's just this micro adjustment knob just really rubs me the wrong way to put it nicely. So, just like we talked about in the video, we have here the vacuum attachment, so the vacuum hose comes up and over, slides right in, and just by doing this bottom line here, I can already tell that it looks pretty nicely. It really cuts down the amount of uh, wood dust flying everywhere. I'd say by as much as 75 80 percent, it's really freaking nice. So, I already have this guy adjusted here. So, unlike the Ryobi plunge router, it does not go down until you unlock the lever. And then you can go ahead and drop it down. And wherever you let go, that's where it locks in place. And it actually does lock in place quite nicely. I will say this. This guy here is how you adjust your, uh, your depth, how, how deep the uh, bit drops down. So I did have an issue where uh, earlier when I dropped it in place and uh, 
I dropped it a little too hard and so this guy doesn't tighten as, well, as tight as I would like to so I pushed down too hard and then it went up and <laughs> it actually went into uh, through my piece here so you can see here I plunged down and it, this thing just gave out and I ended up almost going through the actual wood piece work piece so I had to start over which is alright lesson learned thankfully it happened in the beginning of the project and not towards the end and then if you want to go deeper again this eighth inch stop here works quite nicely but without further ado let's get started so I already ran it out the seat here looks pretty nice so what you do is so I'm gonna lock it drop it in drop the bushing in turn on my vacuum so here we go with the Sign Pro and ear protection is uh, highly recommended with this kit or with any router really as the noise can be pretty loud. I do use the Apple AirPods Pro. The noise cancellation is pretty nice and you can listen to your favorite music. And as you can see there, it's pretty obvious that micro adjustment knob is going crazy with a mind of its own again as usual. Luckily with the plunge base, uh, that knob is essentially useless and just kind of spins on its own. <laughs> um, and here's a different view. Um, I do kind of prefer, especially with more detailed work like this, uh, holding the plunge router base uh, at the base and not necessarily the handles. Um, just makes me feel like it's a little more uh, easier, if you will. Uh, However, you know, I do switch from back and forth, actually, like you can see now. Uh, eh, it's more of a feel thing, really, but I do prefer holding it at the base. I feel like it's a little more uh, ergonomic almost. And this vacuum attachment, as you can see, is great. There really is, you can barely see any wood dust, which is awesome. Yeah, so disregard my toes on this part of the clip, please. Uh, always wear proper footwear. And you see there, I slide the little plastic piece off. That actually keeps the two bars together while you have one of the sides of the router off. That way the letters don't just fall out as you're slipping them in. And here, just getting ready to finish here. As you can see, that micro adjustment knob again. It's just, it's really annoying. Uh, doesn't really do anything, but it's just a real big pet peeve for me at this point for a router that costs four times what the Ryobi one did. All right, so we're all done here. Just shutting off the router, disconnecting the vacuum, setting the router down, and vacuuming up just the last bit of uh, residual wood dust that's in there. Again, that vacuum attachment is great. And uh, just undoing the clamps here. <clears throat> and here we go. So there it is. See? Uh, looks like I need a new bit here, but, I mean, besides that, a little... S sander and knock the stuff right off but overall no complaints now i mean the uh plunge base itself the whole uh unlock get this out the whole method of having to depress the lever then drop the then let go it stays put um, that is totally different from uh, any other plunge router I've ever used where it's totally unlocked. You first you plunge and then you drop the lever and then the base will lock. Uh, personally, now that I'm a little more used to this, I prefer this a lot better. <coughs> uh, as you saw, the uh, micro adjustment knob there was also, was also going pretty crazy. Luckily, the way this latch works here, it just clamps the router on the base sorry the the uh, the depth is 100% adjusted just by this lever here so when you close this latch all it does is hug the router very tightly and actually if I really try to I can kind of pull it out a little bit I thought that was a uh, that was gonna be an issue at first before I started using it but it's actually not so overall this thing the compact router if you're not using the the fixed base it is amazing the power in this thing is just ridiculous and it goes through any it goes through these through this sanded birch <coughs> no problem the only thing i will say this though <laughs> it would be pretty sweet to just be able to pop this out 
slide and drop it into the fixed base slap a uh, Roman OG bit on there and finish this project here but looks like I'm gonna have to keep this as my designated plunge router and use this as my trim router um, I am gonna go back to the Home Depot today <coughs> and see what uh, I can figure out with the Milwaukee rep <sighs> so that technically would be well not technically it would be router number four that I have um, leave down some comments leave some comments down um, tell me am I doing something wrong that's causing it to drop is it my bit I really doubt this is it's the bit because again it works on the Ryobi one just fine but overall very happy with this punch base very very happy with this punch base again thanks for watching this is Ivan and thanks for tuning in again